with both super and not so super comic book favourites back on TV like Revolving Leaders on Walking Dead, Coulson on S.H.I.E.L.D. and Black Bolt leading the Inhumans in 2017. That got us thinking about the best leaders in superhero comics. To talk about comics, I obviously need some experts with me and I'm so excited to have Dan Murrell and Koi Jandro. How's it going? Going great. great. So, of course, I just want to point out from the very start, Captain America, the obvious choice for leader. He is a great leader. So we decided to go with different choices today. And Dan, I'm going to start with you. What was your pick? I'm going to go boring. Uh, <laughs> I I no, but I, the, the, the leader that I remember the most, it came from watching the 90s animated series especially, and the relaunch of the comics about the same time, was Cyclops. Uh, from the X-Men. Not the most interesting character in the world, that's true. Kind of a tortured uh, soul yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Very serious. But one of the reasons I think he's a great leader is that the X-Men have so many different personalities. Mm -hmm. That team, no matter what the makeup of that team, no matter who's on the team, it's always such a clash of different types. You have flamboyant, you have serious, you've got Wolverine who just does whatever kind of pops <laughs> in his head. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that he doesn't get a lot of credit from fans for being able to manage all of those personalities and being able to effectively lead that team. They may yeah. not agree with him all the time, but they respect him. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, he quits the team. Blah, blah. I mean, he has, yes, he did quit the team a couple times, but it was usually over either uh, a philosophical difference that he had with the team or just being overwhelmed emotionally mm -hmm. uh, with, you know, Jean Grey and a, a bunch of different things. So mm -hmm. I think that's its own form of leadership when you are you can either take that stand and say, hey, I don't agree with this and I'm not going to be a part of it. Or you, you have the strength to say, like, I just can't handle this responsibility right now. Yeah, I remember researching Cyclops for movie fights and I was surprised to know how interesting he was in the comics because yeah. sadly, in the yeah. movies, uh, not so much. No. Koi, what would you love to see from Cyclops in movies? Well, the thing about Cyclops that I always loved was the fact that he was able to be professional at all times, even when he was a teenager. Like, he was a kid going through school, he was dealing with work, he had a crush on Jean Grey, but even when Wolverine was like going after his girl, he was able to separate that and yeah. he was still able to be like, hey, I lead this guy, I don't agree with him, I think he's kind of a dick. But I'm going to take care of business because I'm a professional. And that, that, I think, is a true leader is when you can separate your personal life from what has to be done at the time. Yeah. And he could, like, share a beer with Wolverine if he had to. Yeah. And that takes a lot. And that's that's a real leader. Yeah, I felt like Cyclops in the movies was written by people who didn't like Cyclops <laughs> very much. Like, he was always just like, stay away from my girl. And just just eyeballing Wolverine. Yeah. Like, you're not eyeballing Wolverine. No. And the comics now is similar, too, where he's, like, leading a mutant revolution. I'm like... No, no? Yeah, like, he's it's, not a, a terrorist. What are you doing? It's yeah. very strange. I mean, I, I think, uh, again, it, it's. I think the reason they keep playing with that character is that it's not necessarily the most interesting character so trait is leadership. Him. But right. I respect the fact that he is, at the time, especially in the 90s, a great leader, I thought, for yeah. that. And he's similar to Captain America in that he is a Boy Scout. Yeah. In that mm. he is the Stead guy that's fast. truth, justice, solving problems. Yeah. Yeah. And I respect that. And there's a reason Jean Grey fell for him. Like, people don't think of that. There's a <laughs> yeah. reason that she's with Scott. Which you don't get in the in the movies at all. No. Poor, Poor James Marsden. Yeah. Poor James Marsden. Because he's perfect for it. Like, I he's know. a great yeah. actor for it. It just it didn't go his didn't way. Go and it was Ty Sheridan as the younger version, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Ty is such a great young actor. Hopefully we'll see a better version of Cyclops in the movie. I hope. So. Someone that we will be seeing a great version of in a movie very, very soon is my choice, Wonder Woman. I remember watching the television show on reruns when I was young, and it was really powerful to see this strong female character on screen. Recently, she was inducted into the UN as mm. a head of, or a, a support empowerment for women and some people had a problem with this because she's not real plus she is they say she's over sexualized but I think she's really tough and that's what we're seeing with Gal Gadot in the movies from what we've seen from the trailers she kicks some butt uh, and from what we saw in uh, Batman v Superman I mean oh, one yes. of my things with Batman v Superman was best like best bit. Uh, Superman almost didn't need to jump into that fight Wonder right. Woman I think she could handle Doomsday with one arm behind her back yeah, she, was and I, she was handling yeah, everything like, I was kind of like why is Superman doing that she's winning yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't jump in <laughs> Bro, she's, got it. She's, she's got it. I know where this is going. <laughs> Save yourself. Let Wonder Woman handle it. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I, I like the, the, that they are establishing her right from the get-go as, you know, she's going to be potentially the strongest person in the room, even yeah. with the entire Justice League assembled. Yeah, how do you think, Koi, it's going to work when you get with the Justice League? Because is she a leader by herself? I think she literally is one of the few people that can curb Batman's ego. I think she's one of the people that can be like, no, and, like, get Batman to stand down a little. And that's saying the world. That's saying... 
know, because he is, and especially in the film universe, going to be the head honcho. They've set up oh, Ben yeah. Affleck's He's Batman. He's going to all the places. He's the guy. Recruiting but them. you notice Wonder Woman's right there with him being like, what are you doing? And yeah. that, I think, is very vital. Like, that one scene setting up the Justice League, Wonder Woman was the checks and balances. Wonder Woman is leading Batman's leadership. Right. And I think Wonder Woman's the one that we saw in the, in the trailer, the secretary joke, we see that it's shaping up to be like Chris Pine making jokes because he's following Wonder Woman. Yeah. Like yeah. she's the leader of the Amazonian people in this situation and she's going to lead, I think, the Justice League more than we're used to in the comics. And I think that's what DC movies need. Yeah, they need great leaders. A Marvel Universe has a lot of leaders, including your choice, Koi. My choice is Black Panther. Yeah. I think Black Panther has not only, he had to earn his leadership, but he also was hereditarily set up for leadership. And when you have that combination of both being bestowed leadership, but then having to earn it beyond that, I think that makes a true leader because he's not a Joffrey. He's not a Kardashian. He's a guy who actually <laughs> stands up to he's the mantle. He's not a Kardashian? I, mean, I thought he was. <laughs> nope. He's the God fifth damn one. It. Oh. But he's a guy who literally has to like, earn the right of something that he could just feel entitled to. And he's also a guy who has at times stood aside of his own title and been like, no, no, you're the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. I have done something wrong. I have thwarted uh, my own people in some way. And no, you take this spot. And he also is a political leader. He's a societal leader. He's a leader of a team. He's a superhero leader. And he's got to deal with his technology and the money. Like he's literally got to be in charge Lady of a hundred things at once. So he's like Captain America plus politics of an yeah. entire country. Yeah. And he's fighting and he's leading a bit like it's Wakanda, insane. Wakanda, right? Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah, Dan, what do you think about what we've seen of Black Panther in the movies and what would you love to see more of? I, I liked how they treated him in the movies, which is that they could have, you know, um, kept him as this character that's just vengeance driven. And mm -hmm. I like that by the end of Civil War, he had kind of come back around and seen, you know, I like when you have a character that it's not one thing yeah. right. that can kind of shift dynamics a little bit if the situation calls for it, not just out of convenience, but out of <laughs> right. out of a, a, a re actually looking at the events and, and, and being shaped by them. Worth noting also that in the comics, Black Panther married to another great leader another of the X-Men gold team, right. uh, Storm, Aurora oh, Monroe. Who led alongside Cyclops in the team split. Yeah, that's and, right. And two leaders handling that. And he handles more than he should. So I love that Storm was like, Let's figure this out. I'll be your queen. Let's let's handle this. Let's handle this. Yeah, <laughs> and that's beautiful. And and the comics have an amazing way of having so much diverse story they can do that. And I think Black Panther really embodies what a leader is on that scale. And I don't think we have another leader that has the scope of that that mm -hmm. we've really seen. And I think that the movie is going to show us what Black Panther has to deal with, and he's like James Bond wrapped in Captain America. Yo, that's that's a good sell. Yeah. I love that. That's a, that's a great that's sell. That's a great <laughs> sell. James Bond wrapped in Captain that America. That is a great sell. On that note, we'll leave it there. Dan Marokoi, Jandro, thank you so much for joining me. Always learn so much when I'm with you guys. And if you want to see more great stuff from Screen Junkies News, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Comment below who is your favorite leader in superhero comics. I'm Alicia Malone. I'll see you soon.